Yo, so Omale, man, mm-hmm. that is what I call super drama. Because, <laughs> I mean, the guy is trending all over the world. If a babe, if you went to the babe to a concert and mm-hmm. she got on stage to dance with the, with the artist, yeah. would you be mad? Oh, yeah, of course I'd be mad. But that guy, man, for Omale, I think the guy should under, understand. Under, understand. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why should he understand? <laughs> I mean, you've gone, for, you've gone for a concert and uh, probably one person likes the other celebrity mm-hmm. or, or, or rather one, either one other person likes the celebrity who's performing. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's, it's, it's a one-time thing, man. CRT, they're going to go home. Umenda stage, they mwako wa midansa po kwa stage. Yes, yaki maliza anashuka. Red light special na umali. Because unajua, if you start catching feelings right now, the next concert probably would be Tyler. And then me, I'm the I'm, me I'm, this way. Akitale is like, who has a bottle of water? <laughs> that time I'm just from the bar. I'm yeah, but what one. Is, See, I'd also want to show up. What is up with artists? I don't mm, get it. Like, mm. I like I feel like okay, if Omale, okay, technically we wouldn't know he performed if he didn't do all that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I, I bought a ticket. I've come to the concert. I'm yeah. like, thinks that there are people who are like, oh my god, he does that. Mm. I cannot wait for the next concert. Yeah. Like. <laughs> What is the value add for an artist grinding on me? Me ni melipa ticket, ni mekuja. So I'm like, oh my God, Chris Brown. No, but even how she wanted to grind on him. Yeah. So clearly it was a two-way street. She was excited. You didn't see. And she was like, me, me, me. She was excited. Like she was fangirling. It was proper fangirling. But this is what I'm asking. Like, like as, mm. as an artist, mm. you know, like what's, what's the value? I don't think there's a value. The I think yeah, it's just no. entertainment value, imagine. As in, I'm just going to wrap a nyash. Yeah, yeah, it's just for entertainment. people out here. <laughs> yeah. Some people I don't know, I'm just going to wrap a nyash on them. Because like, for example, Timmy Tidat. Mm-hmm. Do you know how many, <laughs> you know many babes he has, he has, gra- he has ground? Yeah. <laughs> like, for what purpose? You, like, if you, don't, if you don't do that, you have nothing else to do. <laughs> nah, but you know, there's, there's, there's some people who, or, or rather some guys who like, you know, grinding on anab, anab. Uh, guys, babe, or mm. you, or you take pride. You're like, oh, I've cooled and now, guys, babe. You're like, ah. ah, this guy, man, you're sure, man. I've been that, I've been there, done that. So I'm way better than you. So probably it works with ego for artists, because if you're asking for value add, mm. then uh, maybe it's that. It, it massages their ego. But me and I'd say this. Mm. Like honestly, if you're my homie and mm. your babe goes on stage to do that, mm. I tell you leave her. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Why? Like me, I'm an MC, man. Okay. We see these things, man. Mm. That's true. There are babes who bring themselves just to be shagged. Like you know, this person is leaving the country yeah. in one hour. Yeah. yeah. But you'll see, like at out of your concert, you're mm. waiting for him a day, a day. From the moment they've landed, give me Kenyan girls. Do you yeah. Have Kenyan girls. You yeah. Have yeah. True, true, true. Do, do, do you know I need Kenyan girls? Yeah, and they usually line up to. Never make it a P square. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they've munched a bunch of Kenyan babes, right? True, 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 so true, true, true. Do, true. Yeah, do, do. <laughs> Man, no, <love us. laughs> You know what I mean? Like, babes have been munched here like biscuits. Me, in my head, I'm just like, <laughs> if you at yo, 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 let me record and let me run to the front. Oh, then go. Yeah, but you see, it's easy I'm for you to knock you over the side of the head and then leave that day. Let's go. Yeah. That one is mm-hmm. a goopy. Now, can we talk about what groupies are? Okay, first of all, it's easy for you to say that because you're always on the other side of the stage. Mm. We're talking about regular, everyday human beings who have never even had an interaction with a D-class celebrity. So you, so that's what I'm saying. Like, to them, it's an achievement. So They're like, I just want to touch him. I just want him to sweat on me. Like, you know, like to them, like this is the end all be all. And then if that girl ends up on stage, every other girl who feels like her will be like, oh my God, I'm so jealous. Yeah. You know, like, so to them, it adds value so to their concert. It's not anything about you want to be with a celeb? No, 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 no. Because me, I'm the one who sits on this. You think the babes are coming at your celebs? I know it's no, a it's notch. Like, yeah, yeah. Babes from the audience. But That's what I'm saying. Let me tell, do you know how artists perform? It's a notch on their belt. Babes, let me tell you how. Like if you're there in the and you want to he pointed at me. Yeah, it's just the bouncer who didn't get to you. <laughs> <laughs> artists perform while pointing. Hule, mm. Neta hule. Neta hule. Yeah. So these ones have to be cheap. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, if you've gone to a concert and you've paid for VIP and an artist has never pointed at you, Angale your Guy, 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 guy. <laughs> Guy, 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 guy. But these babes for going backstage, see yeah. Kobaya. I mean, yeah. Usually, I see babes coming backstage. Mm. They're coming to try and smash. Mm. Like, see yeah. yeah. If that babe, nah, come and on. I mean, some of them are trying to take a photo. Please, you know, it's not just please just shut the fuck up. Oh. Let's be backstage together. Oh. I know. It's, Thank it, you. Oh. Oh. They, they, they come to take photos. photos. Oh. Babes are, like, I've met babes who are telling me, please just just get me into it, including this one. True. I was about to say, you saw the way me, I fangirled. Because you were back. 
work still yeah but still you even though i was it i would have still fun girl you would go on stage and work absolutely not That's no 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 i wouldn't so i wouldn't yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Babe, and if you want to take a photo, mm. where are you leaving your man behind? That's true. Because <laughs> your man doesn't like Omale. See, guys, the man is not <laughs> a bad man. Photo. See, whoever is next to you and Omale, it's better. <laughs> nah, it's, it's nothing. <laughs> That's it's, what I'm saying. It's like, quite rare. You, you find this? both of them as fans. Okay, so I'm there's... Not, I'm not defending see, it, if but... You're, if, you, if, if, if she's a fan, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And she's mm-hmm. come with her boyfriend, mm-hmm. yeah. right? So you want her to meet you? It's a what? What is personal? Like what, yeah. what are you guys going to do? You're going to give her a holy fun hug, <laughs> right? We know those hugs, right? Her, her boyfriend can be standing there. He can take the videos for her as she fun girls. Yeah. But the reason why she left the boyfriend behind yeah. is if there's an opportunity for. And I've seen it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've seen babes come. Yeah. They even kuja. They say they're coming for a photo. Mm. Need the next thing. Yo, yo, we're going to this hotel. She's even babe, babe. See to put on a The yeah. baby is uko the regular. But you know, every, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what is that? Every yeah. artist. 25k subscribers all because of you guys and hitting that button so from the bottom of our buttocks we would like to thank you very much and let's keep it going let's aim for 50 you know what let's aim for 100 keep subscribing press that button and girls nah, and their groupies like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah thank artists. you for, our, for yeah like they're only there to give d oh my god <laughs> <laughs> in class so so they're groupies they're those who are there just to be about just their lives my question yeah yeah and that's why i said i would never let you mm. go no see go buyer yeah. and if your babe does that me i'll just tell you yo listen so who she babe, about their life she, she about, about their life yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because in the event that omalia just says hey let's go like this yes she she's right. like yes because yeah. she's already on stage doing her thing like mm. i i respect any guy who, who or any couple let me not say guy because you know the you hey, my boyfriend have come beyonce <laughs> he's going to rihanna be for the stage <laughs> 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 i'm not about that life because she has a tea there see to bring the seat on stage i mean yeah uh, of you, course it's just a dance it's just a dance. you would you say no i would not say no i would not say no i'm sorry listen I, I live for myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I can go anywhere do anything. That's true. But people who are in relationships, I feel like I'd love to hear from you guys. Is this is this like is this how you guys are living out here? Like Gilly, if you're big pandas the stage, you guys you're like are you going to take a photo of her evidence Jesus Christ (laughs) and I think what made that whole situation worse is like people around him were like oh shit that's your girl look at your girl on stage you know I don't think let me tell you I don't think he would have left her if the internet didn't blow up like that he would have probably forgiven how like let it slide but the fact that the whole world has seen your girlfriend go be groupie for Omale even me I'd leave you I won't lie I'll leave you okay she apologized when the, when the curtain, she did, she when did. The curtain fell, mm. she probably thought like people were not seeing. <laughs> I swear, when the curtain what? fell, on God's green, I swear, she thought the show stage. was over. Yeah, on stage. See, the curtain Nala. fell. Me, I didn't get that far. Yeah. 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 So that's how Nini light happens. Yeah, she, when there's light, shadow. I didn't yeah, get that. The, so on even on the other side, her, the, the light was her, behind her. She can see her shadow on the, on the fabric. <laughs> yeah, she, the light is from behind. She didn't see it. She didn't look like she was looking at the shadow. Anyway. Omale took off his shirt and uh, bass. She lost her mind. Omale, that she lost it. it yeah. <laughs> anyway, you, like in your hairstyle, Omale to on Gek. I mean, even, even Kiki Pama was a victim and now she was not even being a groupie. Kiki Pama was not no victim. <laughs> she knew. No, I'm saying to, boo, to the internet. You know, to the question. internet. You see? Yeah. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. What do you when mean? When you watch a asha, I'm dancing. It's good, Akuna. You just know. For, no, see, like, you know, can you let's Okay. Kuna. <laughs> you can stop finding a Kenya. No, there has to be a there has to be a six packish guy who if he does maybe you guys give me, give me, a, give me a, a, an artist who if he performs on stage gets babes with scream. Hey, a Kenyan one. Kenya. Yeah, sure. Otile. Otile. Ebu Ebu take two. Oh, okay, Arrow Boy. Ebu take uh, three. Hi, so I'm trying to give give you things. So I forget it. There's no one. Be, uh, there's no Kenyan artist with abs. That's what Kwambox is saying. No, I'm just for me. Like, all these people that you've mentioned, like, yeah. I wouldn't. I, would, I can't even be in, I wouldn't. But, like, at least he's fit, fit the... Because you're in the same circle as them. You, you're not in the right position no, to for, make I, this... No. Um, okay, sorry. Unbiased decisions. It yeah. is Elba. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dear future husband. Yeah. Our, our husband. Our husband. Yeah, yeah, our husband. <laughs> yeah, you see? But you in the Kenyan I'm space, no. I'm working on him. Mm. Honestly, like... I'm with somebody and I'm going to talk for somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, is it just me or that just sounds ridiculous? But also, I think ridiculous. she's like really young. It's so easy for you to get carried away when you're like 
under 25 because your brain hasn't fully developed. I'm Ma- not making this up. Look it up. The internet your prefrontal cortex has not fully developed. <laughs> so, yeah. before the end... <laughs> I swear. <laughs> before you reach 25, there's a part of your brain, the, the, the part of your brain that um, processes um, excitement and adrenaline mm. is more active than the one that processes logic. You know, I think that fact yeah. was found out before social media where now, like right now, if you're under 25, you mm. go do some shit, man. Mm. Like, people will not forget. Our parents, yes, yeah, 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 true, 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 true. Go, go, like, yeah, go dance on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stage, go embarrass you know, yourself yeah, and, then, embarrass yeah, yourself yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you move on and recover true, from true, it. True, true, right? true, true. Now, yeah. you can't do that. So that, on top of now also having social media to record everything, yeah. Gen Z, I'm sorry, you guys are suffering. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but guys, if your parents are being real with you, even them, they suffered. Mm-hmm. There are people who were the social medias of back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. never forgot anything. To this day. They'll be like, no, 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 Mtiani, and we're just like, what the fuck is your mom talking about my dad for? What? You know I mean? Imagine I met someone who told me, mm. oh, you know me and my mom, your mom and my mom were friends back in the day. Interesting. I'm just like, and then how do you know that? As, exactly. Or rather, how does she know that? Because like? her mom was giving her info. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, social media for back in the day is also a thing. Now yeah, it was still there. Yeah. Have you ever heard about androgens? Andro what? Androgens. No is, idea is it what like that a is. New kind of Samsung. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's it's basically, if I'm not wrong, it's basically when it's it's like a nini inside men's bodies. It's a what do you call it? Hormone, hormone uh, right? Mm. And okay. if if you have androgens, like you clearly you have androgens. What are androgens? Is this thing that makes beards show up? Clearly, Gilid does. That's not a star strong. Some have more than others. It's no. not. A- <laughs> <laughs> now the only no actually that's not testosterone wait, wait, that makes their hair clear. grow because I, I know, googled right? this earlier mm. it's what testosterone it's, it's, it's testosterone I can't so say it correctly yeah, I'm right I'm right I'm right I'm androgen androgen so what does it do hmm. what it creates beards now uh-huh. babes also get androgen uh-huh. so there's a babe yeah. from TZ yo 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 this babe she has a full beard she's stop talking about joking age, as in go, like I know, uh, Carrie, you look at her just like, bitch. Stop nah, me, joking. <laughs> like, she's full over here. In a connect. Stop. I think she probably has <laughs> chest hair also. <laughs> you wish you had it. She probably has chest hair as well. Me, I've seen a baby with like yes. chest hair. <laughs> so, apparently, androgens is what causes goody. these things. Mm. That's beside the point. So, she was saying how even girls don't even like... Like they don't highlight her. Huh? Yeah, it's those ones who are just trying to experiment. They're just like, what, what did it, what did it be like her too? Because niggas are foolish, and she doesn't want to shave it. <laughs> so, so you know now when you have this thing, mm. of course the first thing everybody will tell you, like the first time it shows you'll want to shave it off, yeah. right? But you can't. This is uh you have it. Like let's ask the guys. What do you mean? Okay, what happened when you shaved off your beard? Did it show up? Yeah. And when you shave again? Again. Shit. You, okay, you don't try. Guy. I feel like if you shave, it will never come back. See me here or two up. Do you shave it? I've never cut it. That's the same. I know these things. Guy. I've never cut it una, 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 una. You know, Gili, when you see people pulling, pulling, like, I've never seen, I've seen Mungai pulling his legs. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yo, but this Shore man, she has, with you? she has full, and she's saying, of course she can shave it. The same thing that happens to uh, Mungai happens to oh her. Oh my god! So yeah, so you're saying, oh my god, like, but you know how people say, you're beautiful the way you are, shine bright like a diamond. Don't worry, God created you the way you are. There's no nigga that's trying to smash her, man. Oh no, exactly. So now I want to ask Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear my question <laughs> if you met a babe like now we're chatting on the internet nini nini blah. of course you I know you you're so greedy you'll be like send me a picture of yourself chop chop can't be just be chatting with somebody <laughs> with words alone <laughs> maybe I, I can't have like a profile photo of my, my chairman no, chairman is a profile video photo calls. so you see yeah. so since now we've been chatting chatting my convo my banter is legit fuck you're like hey Yo, we need to see each other. Then we go on the video. Doom, I'm there. Beard. I have the beard. What's your next move? Like, where's your sister? <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> ah, My ah, God. Ah, but these things ah, happen. Ah, ah, <laughs> these hey, things happen. Yay, wow. These things happen. Hey, like, you know, I guess Jesus. Yeah, like, you have to declare. You know, like, there's some things. But yeah. guests don't declare when they show up with their baby smooth face and in their 40s. Hold on, let me ask you something. She exactly. can't. I mean... <laughs> You, what? as a guy, have declared to you that, babe, 
unajua si ati suru yangu ni smooth <laughs> exactly <laughs> you just show up and you wondering hey, bro eh hey, hivi hey, hey, hey. may have so many other questions though like she can't take estrogen to like balance out like the excessive male hormone bro in it condition it's called jihirotumzi what but i remember the first time i went to nigeria uh. west africa uh. i think it was ghana the first time i went to ghana yo i saw so much hair on women on the face yeah. on what? the chest Right? Me seeing chest hair was, chest hair was, was so Ghana. shocking for me and it, but but what i loved was the fact that these women were just like now sat ni do guy so ni anza ku twist apana because the more you remove the more it the grows. grows so you just watch it i think over there over there people get used to it cleavage. because it's something that you've seen yeah over there people get used to it because it's something that you've seen because i i saw a babe afro future like mm. she's wearing crop top manenos in nini, nini. Ghana. Yeah, yeah and she has chest hair she like she had a, a whole goatee that she's like stop she's chilling with her girlfriends smoking shisha and enjoying the concert yeah so But what is the condition called now i'm curious called- about it Hirsutism. <laughs> Hirsutism. And oh my god. Two hormones called you know, androgens, yeah. Like so if, it's, if it's something you've you've seen before, then uh, you're definitely oh, not going to get shocked most, about it. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Mm. Mm. So apparently the most common cause of polycystic uh, it, it's the most the com- most common cause is polycystic ovary syndrome. Yeah, PCOS. I know mm. you can have yeah. but as we're told it's because you have uh, higher levels of test te- 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 testosterone. Is androgen. Test- Whatever that one. I don't know how to pronounce that yeah. thing. But yeah, that one. So it's what? Androgens, yeah. So, so I saw this babe and I felt it and I was like, "Any, you want to tell me there's no men out here who could just be like, cuz I thought men like love titties." But <laughs> and 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 other things. It's not just at you're dented because so okay, I have a question. Hmm. Would you rather one who's not not a 10, maybe like a one, okay. or one who has who's like a 7 but has a beard? You can't you can't be a seven and have a beard. Well, it depends with your preference. What? You know, have I you mean, seen this? Have you seen the beard? No, nah, we haven't. Actually, we should. You, you can't be a seven and have a beard, man. Like the beard will take off like five marks, depending Bruh. on depending Listen. on like the taste of the person. Because uh, some people like like that. They're okay Bruh, with it. Yeah. yeah. Some guy would see it and be like, yeah, sexy man. <laughs> Let me eat that hair. That mm. okay. Okay. Take if it it off it my <laughs> 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 things that beds are doing okay Carry. um if if you are dating and then this shows up the hair starts growing mm-hmm. cuz it shows up we'll and even for women like your you know your uh, I'm uh, your your uh, hormonal imbalance can happen and it happens like women in their 40s start developing like a bit of a mustache Hey, that's when you get 30s that's, late, 30s that's, that's when you realize maze like guys like in Atoras Riley were lying at is just the way you are no ha, to hospital ha, ha, you ha, have, like ha, she has ha. to shave no, it just starts no, showing no, up your if, you, if you shave uh-huh. see more it grows, grows. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so we go will like will you support this baby and you're going to leave her no we'll support we go to hospital try and find a solution because she definitely there is not no want it on her solution he ni maisha we want it every day they all uh, <laughs> so you just say no guy <laughs> Imagine imagine Joyce and this is natural like you can I'm just wake so up one day now. and your beard has started Jesus Christ, Christ. <laughs> or there's like chest hairs and I'm so scared do. yeah and even for guys yours can go too much because start having like hair on your neck on your and your back oh yeah your on your back yeah 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 <laughs> Think as well here over here on the the black wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that you were supposed to be a What like, what what I've seen and I get scared of is like a, there was a private part there. No, it's it's hair, <laughs> hair in your nostrils. Like no. you've seen that. Yeah. yeah. But for guys it's it normal. You like grow old and stuff. Like, yeah. I don't know your mustache goes inside and your then test, uh, I'm telling you it's all and then the hair starts hormones. coming out of your nostrils. I'm like, wow. Yeah, hormones. That's a lot. You know people never talk about getting older. People I talk swear. about being young, yeah. right? So things happen. You know the way you're like, "Oh, me I can't show it." Wait, talk about that 20 years from now your baby has a goatee. <laughs> Longer than yours. Where you like even like she have yeah this fool man. <laughs> Yo bro. Nah. Hey. Aya. <laughs> That's scary. No. Esther Pasaris. I'm scared. Our, uh, women rep is proposing that we get rid of uniforms. And I say that they are colonizers. School uniforms. school uniforms. Do you guys wear of course you wore uniforms. Yeah, of course we wear school And uniforms. Even if you were in CG preparatory yeah, 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 yeah. you wore uniforms, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We did. Did did you like uniforms? Would you do you think uniforms make sense some of the colonizing manenos? Um unpopular opinion. I feel like uniforms put everyone on the same level. 
like it doesn't matter which walk of life you're from or like you know you all wear the same thing you all look the same when you're at school Why? no one is richer or poorer than the other one it puts everyone on the same level yo yeah i said there are those ones with newer uniforms than the others and yeah obviously but it's one. still uniform number two like but it's still uniform yeah, has, uniforms are the same has mm-hmm. had the same, the same pair of shoes mm-hmm. 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 oxford mm-hmm. that's true mm-hmm. 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 bag bag mm-hmm. 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 bag LV, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Break hauna. Mm-hmm. Your your breaks are for actually taking breaks from education. Mine is for food. <laughs> I've got crisps. I've got. How are we equal? Yeah. No, but it puts you on the same level because everyone is wearing the same thing. No, which you other people just come with their own. We've just asked clothes. a question. If okay, so my opinion is, are, yeah, my kids. opinion, uh, my opinion is, put everyone wears the same. So that when you're in the school environment, you're all on the same level. That's my opinion. This one is a kid who has yeah. torn clothes. Yeah, yeah but that's my opinion, though. That's my opinion. That's how I feel about school uniforms. How do you feel? Um, I think I think school uniforms are okay. Like mm. you, schools can still have uh, the uniforms. There's now one I I had. Um, they were proposing to have like all schools have the same kind of uniform, uh, which would now uh, like uh, move a little bit more towards trying to put people on the same level but mm-hmm. end of the day mm-hmm. like some families are more well off than the others mm-hmm, so mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you can't really unless unless now like it's a rule put and then you say that you wear the same pair of shoes for yeah. like every time and then now another time you get another one mm-hmm. but people always change shoes like, <clears throat> True. by the month True. And yeah and then if they I personally had no problem with uniforms because I mean our uniforms are cool as hell Yeah. Which school did you go to St. Mary's? I mean, we wore polo tees and Which school like is you this? could wear air forces. So. Which school is this? I'm a Uko Uko Mombasa. No, it's Light Academy. Oh god. Do you know what I Sorry. think? Sorry. Mm. I think unless they're providing the uniforms, mm. the, it doesn't make any point the that argument of equality. Because a family has X amount. They want to take their kids. Do I buy books or do I buy uniform? Mm. Mm. Do I educate my kid? The uniform has nothing to do with the education completely so unless if, if you're going to put something mandatory unless you're providing it yeah like you're the one there's a gava outfitters that's shonen providing the cotton and giving all the kids uniforms mm. but to make parents buy uniforms and it brings that question of uh you want everybody to be equal at whose cost yeah or who so everyone to... wears whatever they can afford exactly oh, okay that makes Because sense I, i i do agree mm. it makes it makes things look aesthetically uniform mm-hmm. but Kids are not equal. They've mm-hmm. never been. Mm-hmm. We knew kids, the rich kids would hang out there. Mm-hmm. We knew the ones who had break. We knew the ones who never even had bus fare, mm-hmm. right? The ones who even their shoes are torn. Mm-hmm. How is that equal? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also if like, you look who's if, benefiting from this equal equality? If you look at other countries, um uh, like most probably in Europe or or I don't say SA but Z. Uh, the the posh schools are the mm. ones that wear uniforms mm-hmm. yeah and that's like true kawa schools you just everyone wear, wears what they have yeah, 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 yeah true what you have yeah. so true. yeah give the rich kids uniforms because they can mm. afford to yeah. like I mean, if it's a thing for prioritizing books over uniform, then obviously buy the books I mean, the uniform when she's bringing yeah. up this argument a yeah. lot of parents can't afford yeah to keep their kids in school because of uniform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So that makes sense. So even missing shule because of a uniform. Hata ni kuja pa ndeve bas lazima nda understand. I don't understand why we've gotten so confused about that. Mm-hmm. Um but I think even more importantly this idea of equality is why we come out here and people are disillusioned. Mm-hmm. People are jealous at you oh, na kina nani wako na nini na mimi niko nyuma, mm-hmm. right? You are always like the, nani walikuwa hivyo, yeah. walikuwa toy, yeah. mm-hmm. right? You you keep people thinking that we're equal mm. but life is not equal yeah. in any format mm-hmm. so the earlier this kid knows that by the way you can be hanging out with a kid who has everything and you have nothing to endele yang mbele but i feel like i tend to agree with what she's saying if they mm. are to change uniforms now konza even your uniforms ngine zinakazi juu yaje they should maybe just go I, ahead and do I, it i also think i think they should try and uh, you know try and f- and uh, get the laptops first before we start <laughs> before ahead. we start talking about <laughs> i mean it was years ago i know right like years we're still years. waiting kids yeah, have finished you know, school waiting you know for laptops. laptops you know they were laptops yeah they were there you know the kids have laptops yes the parents bought the laptops you know the which 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 schools are you talking about the private schools parents were told to buy these laptops. laptops were never about private schools anytime we're talking They're about for public anything, schools yeah for mm. public schools yeah never private yeah but they never showed up huh the laptops wait for till your story did they get the laptops or they got no, no, they no, no, got no. laptops from 1950s <laughs> and they are here laptops <laughs> lifika but there were some that were stolen guy 
Yeah. So every kid got a laptop. <coughs> no. Yeah. It was never going to be the school. The school got laptops. I think. I don't oh. know. I don't remember. It's never going to be every kid gets a laptop. Also, it's a laptop, a laptop that kids share. I have no idea. I don't remember. <laughs> I do not remember. Okay. Yeah, like you're told, get your kid a laptop or a tablet. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. You know, even with private schools, they are, hey. they are not equal. Hello, what's good? We want to take a moment to shout out all our 25,000 followers and our subscribers. We appreciate you. Right now, I know you're watching this and you haven't subscribed. As in... As in... Bufinia subscribe, Apple. Translation. Subscribe! Yeah. Kids That's are expensive. Your school is, is inside your estate. <laughs> 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 yeah. It might as well be a public school. Hi. Yesterday, I saw a story of a guy. He knocked a porthole. Mm. So he was being pelequad to the whole sea. The guy gongered a porthole until the guy woke up. Eh? Like he was dead. So the, you know the way the ambulance is huh? the car is like, wee, 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 wee. It's going to... They gonga the portal, the guy Fufuka did the back there. What do you mean? I'm telling you a true story. Like, true story. The guy Fufuka is just like, where am I? So he was already Sad. dead when they put him in the ambulance? <laughs> yes. It's like those Toros you hear at Like, in fact, it was just last week again. Yeah, I saw a Toro. A guy in Cameroon, I think it was. He had been Peleko at Hosi. He's dead, right? No, the mog. So the farmer has come to see him. Who do they find walking out at him? Hey. <laughs> Guy, stop joking. The just woke up stop joking. Story. I promise you, true story. Oh my Jesus. True story. At that point, what do you do? You guys, you knew. I'm a good I'm a good for you can take the body. Guy. I'm a good Okay, I'm a good Cancel, Kenyan. cancel the pay bill. Before they've confirmed the last heartbeat, okay. they've started Shanghai. Pay bill. Yeah, so there's a pay bill that has been <laughs> some password. They woke up, man. Yeah, was, what? Yeah. You guys think this is a story in Kenya? That is the wildest that's, thing I've ever had in my that's, life. That's not... It, that story is not even... So did they explain how that happened? Why? You think I'm telling fake story? No. Yeah, that's a true story. Yeah, no, did the doctors explain <laughs> how that happened? No, I think... You know, like... You know the way they say... Um, CC start... Yeah. Yeah. Right? But there was no electricity. Ah. So the guy it's used the, the, the guy woke up. Yeah. The nah. shock woke him up. See, cause that's why I'm not going to shock. Eh, eh. So that's why your bottle is in shock. Yeah. <laughs> You're lying. The bottle for real is a true story. Yeah. Man, needs someone to explain to me how that science works. I mean, it's because he wasn't completely gone yet. Yeah, they maybe, thought he was maybe gone. He wasn't dead, like oh. had maybe out. he was like breathing like really, really, he really dead. slowly. He was dead. They were like him to the morgue. The guy. guy woke up. Right? These things happen. Right? Is, those guys did a bad job how nini no, proving that this guy is dead. That. You, but at least that one. Now that one, you've gone to pick your person and then the person is there. <gasps> Guy, that was a nice sleep. <laughs> ah, where that's, are we? that's crazy. Because if that is like my shags. I swear. People, yeah. Like, people, yeah, as people would say it's uchawi. Our whole famo will be blacklisted. <laughs> I swear. Like, <laughs> Mgeombewa. <laughs> Muletewe exorcism, exorcists. At least you know when I knew Ali Kufa. Guy. It's chaos. No, someone please explain to us. If there's a doctor watching this, please explain how. Have you figured it out? What are they saying? Reminds me of an astro. Of an astro in charge. Abu Reid Gili has figured it out. It is? What? As in, you think, as in, when I'm telling you this shit, you, you think it's not true. No, but like, I want to know the science behind it. He was an 80-year-old man. Yeah. He had initially been declared dead by doctors. Guy. And then on route to Hosi, where his, he, they hit a portal, twah, the guy woke up. <gasps> now are we together? Thanks. Is that doctor is Nini Mugu This happened in India. Is he still alive, this guy? Yeah, because this guy was not meant to die. He's 80 and God is being... Imagine! He's like, Yo, he was that. like, not yet. It's <laughs> not yet my time. And 40 years to go. <laughs> guys. Those doctors probably, they probably didn't do like the, uh, These their things homework happen, guys. <laughs> no, but I thought, me, I want wait, to know wait, the wait, science behind it. India. I thought India has like the best doctors. Yeah, best doctors. <laughs> you go there to get treated. That's how you know the doctors <laughs> are real. <laughs> if this happened in Kenya, they smile. bring you back to <laughs> life. Ah, I'm not coming to you. Ah, I'm not coming to you. Ah, I'm saying I'm here. Yeah, that I expect in Kenya. Because there's even a guy who's woken up at uh, Nairobi Cemetery. Yeah, Nairobi <laughs> Cemetery. Uh, Mochari. Mochari. Yes. 
can you imagine can you imagine the guy was saying and this is those times apparently i was reading somewhere in the paper i think today at nairobi uh, this nairobi mortuary mm. you know like if you talk to your folks eh? yeah. when they talk about nairobi mortuary yeah. like i remember one time my mom was telling us mm. we were supposed to move somewhere from gumo yeah. so we saw this apartment which had been jengwa there next to bagad yeah. so yeah. see we check those i stay next to the mortuary <laughs> <laughs> never I'm like girl <laughs> How do you see this and then in the in the middle of the night I hear things <laughs> just like what? <laughs> so I can just smell the mortuary in the middle of the night. I'm like girl what are you talking you, about You would you live next to a mortuary N- Yeah no I I, I mean, would not I, Like langa tata huko si dream Montez Montezuma si watu wanaishi Yeah but you're not right Kuna next to the nini next to the Montezuma You think ghosts know about barbed wires What Ghosts yeah. don't know about barbed wires <laughs> so, Ghosts can go through walls <laughs> Yeah so they could be on the streets <laughs> What are you saying? <laughs> anyway, so I found out the, the Nairobi mortuary used to be like let run, like it was let, like it used to be run down. Uh-huh. So they never used to take care. Sometimes bodies would be rotting. Like oh no, oh god. Do you know who sorted this shit out? Kai. Who? N M S. Who's that? Nairobi Metropolitan Services. Aha. Uh-huh. Oh, so it's just recent. In oh, the so I was reading about it in the paper today. I was like, cuz I never like it clicked why my mom was so weird about mm. Nini. Yeah. Sometimes you'd be driving past Nini Ngong Road up or that area. Yeah. Kaharufu tu unafikiri ati hapa kuna seaweed. Hiyo ni mtu. Hey, nigga, I, yeah. I used to be told uh, sometimes that you cops when they find someone passed out drunk on the road mm. like they just take you to the motel like, <gasps> to teach you a lesson so yeah uh, 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 you can imagine waking <laughs> up from a motel and uh, then <laughs> this these guys were talking about that's what happened because <laughs> the guys who woke up happened yeah so you wake up you find yourself there man you'll never drink yourself silly like that i again. swear to god i will like, probably never learn, drink again let's move from where lock do and be what you <laughs> But yeah guys you will believe what happened. I swear. Ebu fungo yoku And also like a question I have right mm. uh, like um not living next to a crematorium mm. right? Mm. Like crematorium is where they do the they yeah, choma the bodies. Yeah, yeah where they choma the bodies mm. like, with the smoke. Yeah does oh. it does it is it like when you pass up on in Nairobi where send this nyam chop. <laughs> Now just think about it. Because me, I think if I live there, man, I would not crave nyama choma. Like, no, I think there's a way they do, do they it. Like in nyama nyama nyama. Ah! Yeah, I mean, meat is meat. No, bro, like, no, no. I'm sure, I'm sure human flesh smells. I was watching this series called, um, no, it's not a series, it's a movie. Mm. Uh, it's actually based off of a true story. This guy is, I think they're the Argentine football team that, that uh, yeah. uh, crashed in a mountain. Mm. What's that movie called? It's on Netflix. Mm. I watched it the other day. Anyway, so these guys, they crashed and then bro, you don't want to crash on a fucking mountain. What happened? See, it's ice. Ice baby. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's, it's bad. Nobody's oh, coming no. for you. Nobody's coming for you. Yeah. They can't see you from up there on the seas. Wait. Wait. Oh, Even the plane, they don't God. see us, right? So they, those guys were there for like, okay, a few of them were rescued, but a lot of them were eaten. Eaten by each other. each other what the fuck you think you're going to eat on a mountain oh my fucking what god you going to eat on a mountain see nini tini takula zile snacks za safari link wa funga na padlo ka una zile zile bike that is a safari link you can have this local flight ya na takula unakufa one time how long were they there they were there for almost like I think it was like 60 days or something. <gasps> oh. Oh my wild. god. So so initially these guys are refusing to eat, right? So there's this guys who just like, "Oh my god, you can't eat." But then there's this guys who are like, "You guys got to eat." And they start ch- ch- changing people like <gasps> cooling the food, right? Like the the nyama. And then you know there's no fire, so you're eating it frozen. <laughs> frozen meat right oh my stay god alive. you gotta stay alive yuck unajua when you mnaringia apart me and can't eat snake you'd be like where is the snake i can't eat a human yeah because in the hierarchy of things yeah. it's only like what's the worst you can eat right so they they could not back and they survived and then there's someone got them out of there the question is after did they ever back, survive you yeah nasikia bacon na madu you know do you zoya human flesh were they traumatized after that of course this is a true story. Story. Like the, these people survive. How many years ago was like the actual crash? This is like maybe in the f- was that plane 
Um, what's the name of that movie? This is not a movie. The story is from 1972. The Uruguay team. It was a Uruguay football team. Walikulana. See the name of Kiria. Walikula. Walikula. My friend Walikula. In Africa, time pa kona sema. Eh, ukona chumvi. Can you? Can you? Kimse kwa ni aki kwa kina sweat. <laughs> Can you imagine the amount of PTSD these people have? Did they survive? Did any of them like yes. try to commit suicide or something? I don't think it's safe to survive something like that. Yo, let me tell you. You'd rather die, like, yeah. die on that mountain. You'd rather die on that mountain. Exactly. What if you end up being a cannibal? Yeah. Like you end up being a cannibal? What you tell me it was okay because it's not a choice. Can you imagine living with someone like that? You know like how nowadays at the... Sleep with one eye open. Yeah. And then and then probably you know how you'd flat and then you say oh you look delicious like he means he it someone no, he I means it no he I means it unless you ask he means <laughs> that in <laughs> fact <laughs> i will eat you not just bite i Yo, will eat you thing, they were just young footballers oh and then they my were on a plane God. and then they, they traveled and the next thing they're on a mini and now they're de- de- debating who they are going to eat no now right. i need to know right? if if yeah, if any of them were, like these are their football these are these are your best friend mm. not your bestie bestie at the bestie bestie ah, guy yeah, exactly <laughs> Bestie, basically, come and eat you for real, for real. No, come, no, How do you know you're in an expensive restaurant? Let's uh, go around the table. What do you mean? I'll start. Or like a bougie. Yes. How do you know? You know, like you know the way someone takes you on a date and then they start saying this, this two stories for carrier to you. Uh, you sort me out, eh? And then uh, my uh, <laughs> mobile banking has hung. None of that shit. So you've walked in. We want to give guys tips so that you can see them with your eyes, so that you don't even ask her how much is a uh uh-uh. There are tips. There were signs all over. All right? Mm-hmm. Mm. So tip number one. Mm. Um, can I have some water? Still or sparkling? Jua, the man, she's like, you know, what? Why are asking you still or sparkling? Yeah. When you go to Siju, you're in a restaurant in Dawa, and you're like, yeah, tapa, my aunt, and you're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ya tapa ma ya chupa. Ya chupa ma. Lakini una na pale um still a sparkling. Uko na uliza. Kuisha. Dia dia madwado. Ku. When the size when the size of the plate mm. uh doesn't match the portion of the food. Ooh. Like if it's a yeah, 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 yeah. split and then now like the a food, small piece of meat and like mbogas. Katikati and then they put flowers. Yeah, like mm. and decorations. That you're not supposed to eat yeah. but Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've seen people eating those nini. No, you're supposed to eat them. Nah, you don't. They are. You're supposed to eat them. Nah, I'm telling you, you're supposed you to eat, eat flowers. Them. They are flowers which are edible. Okay. Me kwambia, eat to be flowers. But just to be safe, I don't eat yeah, them. I don't, I eat don't them. eat them. There's some there's some there's edible flowers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You should probably ask them if you can eat them otherwise you look nah. like a villager. See what I'm I saying? Ask, otherwise you I'll know you're a villager. So, so yeah, just don't eat them. Yeah. Um how you know it's an expensive um restaurant when you asked um you're under which table? Did you have a reservation? Yeah. You're like bus. Yeah. Bus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're like yeah. upper yeah. leg and an arm right. just for me Start to eat. I am yeah, yeah. supposed to sit under the table. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a movie where Nani did that. <laughs> All right, another one. If you open the menu, and even simple things like chicken mm-hmm. are pronounced in a way like chicken dogs on yeah. 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 Or All in, you know, even, whole like you look at the whole menu and you have to ask which one is the meat. Yeah. yeah. Like you can't be able to pronounce these things. Mm-hmm. Yo, you're in an expensive restaurant. Nice. And now one. So you sit. Ah, wait. So you subscribe. Mm. <coughs> so you subscribe, we get to 100k so that you can start changaing for people, man. Like 1k each. You know? When you open the menu mm-hmm. and on the drink section, mm-hmm. the wine is put under grapes like mm-hmm. it's categorized with grapes uh, not just dry mm-hmm. and sweet mm-hmm. um, you find those people of CG semi dry mm-hmm. uh, or semi sweet yes. nothing like that you should Fats. pick whether it's Merlot Cabernet Sauvignon Shiraz okay. you know, <laughs> Sour Baba, at least you know how to pronounce them yeah. Yeah. at least you know how to pronounce yeah. them uh-huh. but I was going to say if the menu has things you can't pronounce 100% it's yeah. very For expensive sure. so if, c- you can continue the game in the comment section let us know how you know you're in an expensive restaurant mm. yeah Tunataka Kujua Send your cooks. Emma, oh, can I sweet? Emma, send my sweet. sweet. Mm. Hey, there's another uh. one. I went to happen. What's the most expensive restaurant you've ever gone to? In Nairobi. In. Oh, I was going to tell you I was in Malindi recently, so I know expensive which restaurants. One, which one, billionaire? Yeah, oh, man. Bro, you know there was a meal that was forty nine hundred. 
4,900 yeah. for a meal and it doesn't include the sides. It's I've never been so is culture shocked. Is it steak? Okay, in my defense, it was prawns, but still. Uh, prawns? 4,900. 4,900. 4, yeah, it was yeah, jumbo. It, was it, looks like a, it looked yeah. like lobster. It was like prawns yeah. the jumbo. size of a... Of a they're, jum, they're called jumbo prawns. But I looked at the price, I was like, God damn. A steak, the cheapest wagyu steak in Nairobi... Mm. Around and I've checked mm. is 8k for 250 gram. Well, where Shut you your, your mouth. And so many restaurants. Jesus. Yeah. Let's get out of this three percenter conversation. Hey. Okay. Yeah. The most expensive <laughs> restaurant you've been to. Mm. Not in Nairobi. Mm-hmm. In Nairobi. In Nairobi. Yeah, we need to tell people which restaurants to completely avoid. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely avoid anything Italian. In fact, let me Google the name of that place. I have to tell guys. Yo, this is expensive. Okay. But it's a nice I, house. I once, I once paid for Valentine's Day dinner. Mm-hmm. Um, it was 20 Gs a person. Eh? Yeah. But it came with Mulikula wine. Ni, mulik- oh, okay. Yeah, okay, it, okay, came, okay. It, came, it came with a lot of things. 20,000 per person? Yeah. Mlugo mnalala uko? No, apana. Jesus Christ. Alafu restaurant iliko imejai kuna tumeza tudogo tudogo. Ni iku hapa hii building ina kadildo. Sweet heart. Oh, Inti. Inti. Inti? Oh. I've never been to Inti. I've never been to Inti actually. I feel like I just started going to like bougie restaurants this year. No, you, sometimes, when you, when they ask to take you out on a date, where do you say? the restaurant. Bro, me, I told you, I've been, I've been suffering on the dating front, my friend. What? Hey, my friend. Hey, hey. Sis, I've been suffering. Let me tell suffering. you. Let me I've you, been suffering. Let me tell you where you can take your pain. Mm. Right? There's a restaurant called Chop House. I've heard of Chop House. It's, right. Is it good? So, they've got some good food. Okay. Right? So, mm. don't go there with your own wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. 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 a great selection of wine. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, the next time someone is asking you on a date, Chop you know, House. Coffee? Chop house. Yeah, we Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they can come on the podcast and say, hey, I spent 20k each. Yeah, because in the past I've always spent 20k. Aki guys have challenges. I swear. Because in the past I've always been the one to like plan the dates, pay for the dates. So obviously I had to go according to my budget. So like this. No, Joyce, Joyce. I'm dead serious. No, also sometimes. No, this, sometimes. What do you mean? I mean, except one relationship where all of that was well taken care of. I, I was what always the one who did. What is on the radio? Because... <laughs> <laughs> because because <laughs> no, no, like, but don't, you imagine pastor, imagine don't stop thinking like yeah. that. You, guys, you guys you need to think like me <laughs> clearly, <laughs> clearly. no but I'm telling you this past year that I've been single now that's when I've really been like in my soft girl era and being taken to these nice places and you know it's been nice but before I, I, I couldn't go to such places because I always had to consider like the other person like oh I don't have a budget for like two people if I want to go by myself I can but yeah, if we are like going on a date yeah, yeah if we're going on a date I have to go somewhere where I can afford so obviously yeah. I can't go to like a billionaire's resort <laughs> Well, but now I can, so that's the, that's the most important point. Oh, so you now you met some. Now I can. Met. No, not I met. Um. You don't listen to the out. So monkey in between. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm saying, saying now budget ni yangu peke yangu. So even though I decide to go to billionaires, I can go. Yeah. 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 See how it will be. So you're screw screw. Yeah. From that story. Yeah. Screw screw. Yeah. yeah. I'm still in the streets, guys. No, more trust. people like in your story. How Malindi. was Malindi, by the way? It was white as hell. Yeah. yeah. yeah it was white. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was in actual shock. Sometimes yeah. I I was looking around and I'm like, um, did I accidentally teleport to Europe? Is it like being in Karen Hardy? You know, Karen Hardy. Sometimes you can be in a shop and you're just like, I swear to God. Even say, oh my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How do you make? Any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm telling you, there's even a restaurant we went to, and apart from the people who we were in the same group, us and the waiters were the only black people in that restaurant. Yeah, it happened. So I was like, screw, screw. That's how I feel when I'm flying down to Lamu. Aha, okay. Hey, apa? Kwani siko Kenya? Like get out. I swear. Because like you know in my head, in my head I already knew there are a lot of white people in Kenya. You know we are a cosmopolitan country. Yeah. There are a lot of people who come to invest from elsewhere here. You run into them, you know I have white friends. I was like, yeah, there are white people in Kenya. But when to Lamu, I, was, I mean to Malindi, I was like, oh, there are white people, like yeah. white, white. Like the entire establishment, you can count the black people. But you know funny enough, yeah? Malindi has become less white. Are you joking? This is less white. Yes. You're joking. Malindi was an Italian town. Yeah, they used to call it Little Italy. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> like, Malindi Watamu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, bro. Yeah. Like, I remember going to, you could, even the restaurants. Mm. There was gelato. Yeah, there yeah, was yeah. Piz- pizzeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you're you're at the beach mm. and the beach boys mm. are advertising in Italian. Imagine, German. yeah. Right. No English, no nothing. True, 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 right? true. So yeah. they're walking around with like German signs mm. with Italian signs. True, true, true. But see, Italians have gone back. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the Italians have left. Madrid. But they're Germans now who are also there. Oh, they're the ones who yeah, there are quite a few Germans yeah. who are there but as well. Hey, do, do this. Well, we are going there. Do these Germans for Africa, for Kenya, love mm. to interact with Kenyans? I don't know. No, they don't. I honestly don't no, know. No, they don't. And I'm talking about those ones who are at the coast over there. You don't remember there was a time Talia did a video. Mm. And like, I think a week before, mm. we had been to a place and they refused us entry. <gasps> Stop. Because it's only Germans. Stop For it. Real? Yes. These places are still down there. It's You're still, lying. They're still there. They are still there. Come on. You're joking. The way I see There's, these guys, not, they like it's black not, babes. Listen, th- there are places in Kenya yeah. that they won't tell you, mm. but you're not supposed to be. Yeah, they want to keep it As white. African. Shit. I know, I know of it happening between uh, like Asian communities, mm. like places in yeah. Nairobi where you can't live, yeah. uh, where you go look for a house, you'll see yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the apartments that are empty. Two point two parklands. Yeah, parklands. <laughs> let's just be honest. Park me land. when I tell when Amiro tells me they live in parklands, I'm like, how did you do it? Yeah. <laughs> how? <laughs> how did you manage? Because <laughs> at your nice apartment where yeah. 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 yeah, you have to tell us what mm. you did. Yeah. One time I was dropping a friend of mine home, and mm. then I even asked the Ochi. I'm like. He, I asked the Ochi, me, Niki Kujapa could have done Yumba Mutani pair. He just looked at me, he couldn't answer. He was like, eh, Appa. Gag, 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 gag. Appa, Appa. He doesn't know how to say eh. it. Ah, ah, and ah, I'm ah, like, just ah, tell me. There's even a neighbor who do call next to Kani. Yeah. In Langata. Mm. You know it? Even Nani talked about it. So Calligraph. I've, I've seen that with Asians, not mm. white people. Uh, yeah, bro. Watch any Kwambia, they were the originators. They really are, honestly. Yeah. Original. Because yeah. even where we had gone, when we had gone to Lit House, see, you've been to LT Lit House, Lighthouse, Lighthouse, that one. Um, you have to book like that area where you sit like on the net and whatever. Mm. So our table was empty and there was like a white, an older white lady who was seated there. And like the wait staff was coming to tell her, yo, this place is reserved. If you want to sit here, you will, you will have to pay. And since you haven't, you just like you already have your friends already have a table here you have a table over there and the funny thing is the wait staff was talking to her i think in either german or italy like this is a kenyan mm. like the entire wait staff can speak german and yes. italian i was so shocked but, but, but they paid to caesar exactly but i was like if if we were because it was now my friend my black friend who had made the reservation if it was a white person who had made that reservation i feel like a hundred percent should have been nicer but because we were black people in that group i honestly feel she was being rude just because we were black people yeah, yeah. The only the the, I think maybe first or only time I've experienced racism in Kenya mm. is at the coast. I swear, Malindi. I swear, right? Because oh, really? I was like, yes. I guarantee, if it was a white person who was who had made this reservation, she would not have they been that rude. In, she in, would in, not have been that rude. Into the place where I see Mombasa, mm. Mm. see Mombasa, yeah, yeah, Malindi. Yeah. Yeah. Why, 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 Africa, I've, I've yes, traveled Zana. there, <laughs> the coast, living there all my life. I've not. Have you gone to racism. places where it's only like? This place is only like white people who mm. live there. Yeah, even I've been to you, you, you hear even the the what they call the cruise ships mm. that come into the country. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like there's a time when I was in Diani. It was I think the cruise ships cruise ships at that time had come from even even this time when I was in Lamu. Mm. I think maybe Germany or something. So yeah. there was like lots of mm-hmm. foreigners. These people never even come to Nairobi. Mm, Wanna, by the way, they reach the coast. There, yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah, it's yeah, winter yeah. there, they mm. come here for summer. True, so true, 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 true. A lot of the, you know how bad it is. Like you guys, where do you live? Mm. I cannot tell you or not to be allowed. You enter the pool, they chomoka. Guy, <laughs> stop. Why they'll get dirty? What? Where? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> here <laughs> in Kenya. Jesus. This happened. I would really like to see. I don't think I've ever seen like flat out racism. I've only seen like microaggressions. It's not I've fun. never seen it's it like to fun. my face. And especially when you're being told that the owner of the establishment, you have to leave. That's, what's that? Uh, like, uh, uh, this is Kenya. We have rights. I believe like, I have rights. to the right. <laughs> <laughs> then turn Take right. it to the right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. They don't hey. care. They That's actually don't care. That's probably those people who swap. Malindi see Kenya, my friends. I is yeah. really scared. Well, that's a story for another day. Your story, Shwastika uh, Nini's. I've I've been in a house where there's a um, in yeah. Kenya. Yep. I have Shut up. In Nairobi as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Estus. Here, up to Karen. Mm. Anyway, so moving on swiftly. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever gone to see you? Kwanza, you you're the one. I'm sure you have stories for this. For sure. you, Peleka, someone on. A, by the way, has do your mobile banking ever hang? By sure, yeah, of course, does yeah. Your mobile banking, yeah. Ever hang? Yes, it does. It does. J- you has never hanged. <laughs> <It hangs. laughs> 
Yeah. You guys? Okay, cool. You see these things happen? <laughs> <laughs> but we're not going to take it on a date. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make sure you may withdraw. Aki. Kamlo me kuja. Amo ubebe cash, amo ubebe TM yenyewe. Imagine but it, me have done it. And see it has if it has hang it has hang. You like no. it hang. Yeah, so you told them to pay. Yeah, okay. No, yeah. I wasn't on a date. I was oh, with friends. Oh, okay. Right? okay. So friends hapo nimekula ni Joyce, me I'm not you. Miss Lippy date. Guy 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 I'm the past. That was the past. I okay. The that was the we're in the present me now. Me kongine zwa amnesia. We're in the yeah. present. Yeah. See me split. <laughs> I'm the one who's going to be split and you're asking me here to split the <laughs> I'm the one who's going to be split. <laughs> yeah, I split there. There we go. That's a bit of split bills. But yeah, mm-hmm. imagine you go on on a date and then this guy tells you, at oh, and Kerry, you're going to tell us your story. At oh, the mobile banking has hung. Hung. How are you going to feel about this? Bro, it's gonna and look. It's, the it's gonna look shady. Like, gonna even though it's true, it's lie. gonna look shady. Like, this guy is lying. Yeah, ex- exactly. It's yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lie. Red flag, and you know, it's only a red flag because I know it can happen. We've just discussed it. It all, it happens to all of us. Yeah. Right? Like, on a date. On a first date. Event, it's a red flag. It and is. You know, I promise you. At that point, I'll probably mm. take my phone and be like. Especially in this day and age for Fuliza, where you can Fuliza, Fuliza and then you go put the money back. Forget that. You're lying. Especially this day and age where I know guys are also telling themselves they are the price. <laughs> 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 he could be, and then he goes and tells his boys, yo, I'm going to be a mobile banking. I'm going to be a mobile banking. Oh! Alex is just like, yes, sir, no simpi. Yo, listen, and I'm not simpi. Okay, it's a broiko. Okay. <laughs> I'm not doing that shit. I'm not doing it's a that shit. Imagine. Spend the whole time. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hey. 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 Hi. How are you? How many lengo, how many blockers? I'm not doing you are coming for me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here. Hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are in the middle. Has that no. ever happened to you? Yeah, mine has happened. <laughs> and and you, know how, you know how the bank would text you, like, mm-hmm. and tell you, or... It could be under maintenance. Yeah, under maintenance. No, you can get to message you, Kazuba. I didn't see the message, ah. man. I didn't see. So, mm. me, Niko Bash, Niko Shere, Kapisa. Mm. You're telling at orders in Guinea. Uh, what do you Bi- want? Billy Mekuja, ni how much? So, yeah. we're like, okay, we're going to split. I'm like, it's not hey. working. Hey. It's not working. Hey. Again, it's not working. So, I just sat, I was like, I swear if I tell people my mobile banking is not working, <laughs> they'll start judging me. They'll be like, this guy is lying to us all this time. Yeah, you couldn't even tell us. And then, so it was bank and card services. Mm. We try again. Now we try with the card. Mm. You know how the, the, the waitress comes back with your Declined. card? Declined. She's like, yeah, I find you. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like they usually shout. Like, why are you shouting? It's been declined. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, thank God. Mm. I think someone there had experienced it. Yeah. Uh, and then, so the bartender... Mm. Like told the waitress, there's an issue. Ni bank gani? Yeah. Are you a funny tungoje? Oh, so okay, 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 okay. After 3 a.m. it worked. Hey. Wah, 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 so you are there wah, 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 wah. on the bill. When, Imagine you're when, just here, just no, like, is it working add, now? Is it working now? Add, so we were told to wait, and then now while we were waiting, now the people who I was with, they were like, okay, let's continue. Mm. So we continued at 3 a.m. when it worked, mm. and I made sure everybody knew that I paid the bill. Mm-hmm. I paid my bill. Like, like look, I paid. Yeah. You tell the DJ. I DJ. paid. Mm. DJ. Uh, to tell him to. <laughs> because what? As in, do you know how embarrassing it is? Mm. Like when it's genuinely not working. Yeah. Have you ever been at a point of pay? For for forget the bar, but like, cause at the bar, I mean, they'll they'll wait for you. Mm. Like at a pay tea, mm. make a fuel, <laughs> then you're just say, "Can you grab Jaza?" Then you're going to pay Mpesa that day. Uh, that Mpesa day, tells day you day no. Mpesa, everybody's tweeting. But you, you don't have bundles. Right? No, no, sold your pesa is not working. Pesa is down. Right? Ah, cha, 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 so, cha, cha, and cha, cha, there's no cha, cha, other place. Now you have to be on the phone calling. Ooh, it's happened to me once, and then yeah. it was very early in the morning. So now I'm here calling people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a <little> bit <laughs> at five in the morning calling someone like you. Oh, wake up! <laughs> people are not picking their calls, uh, 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 but finally uh, someone picked, and they called my mother. Of course, then yeah. they had to do the thing for uh, me. Uh, Everybody uh, else was now calling uh, me at ten. Uh, I'm just like, uh, hey, I need friends who are early risers. <laughs> hey, 
Yeah. But I'm telling you, that's why it's good to have a relationship with the petty next to where you live. Me, I've never left my nini before my ID because the nini wasn't working. Your ID? For real? Yeah, I was like, I'll be back. But I've lived there for so long. They literally so know me. I take my car to the car wash over there right next. Sometimes it's good to have a why relationship with these guys. Face, eh? Natasha. <laughs> <laughs> they over here our pan watch ID next time where well, last time we we'll watch ID so said this time watch a yeah, me I left my ID because I paid like even me it, it wasn't like full tank, but I paid like I told them to put like um back before fuel was too expensive, and then Mpesa wasn't working, and then he, he's the one who actually told me Sijaribu tena because we have an issue with Mpesa. Come say if I haven't carried my card, just leave your ID, you'll come back. I was like, so. Huh? Hey, ID. Yeah, it's good to have a good relationship. <laughs> He took a photo of it and I'm still thinking about and it. And you're still pissed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it's three weeks ago. I <laughs> just... Yeah, because you know someone can use your ID to like yeah yeah, yeah. for fraud to stuff. commit fraud saying, yeah yeah yeah. So, yeah. I'm so mad the guy was trying to say Ati, do, bring your ID it must stay here the guy I'm like what? Yeah, like no. Where we end up? We think you're in Uganda because why? Huh? Friend. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you're in Uganda? 